Hello, my dear Aquarius. This is your love and spirituality reading for the time between June 1st to June 15, 2017. With me, Queen of Cups Tarot. So, I use the Legacy of the Divine Tarot by Zero Marchetti. And I will start shuffling your cards. And I call the Divine with love and light. And I call the four Archangels in the four corners of the world. And I call the six elements. Earth, Wind, Fire, Water, Spirit and Ether. To join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Aquarius viewers. So, I want my dear Aquarius to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So, I also want to take the chance to tell you that Mars will transit from Gemini to Cancer June 1st, opponing Saturn. See what this will mean for you, okay. <laughs> Two of Cups. Mars will transit from Yam Gemini to Cancer. Yes, of course, this is um, uh, actually Venus in Cancer. But uh, Mars in Cancer is equally good for love, I guess. Um, opponing Saturn going retrograde in Sagittarius. Venus will move from Aries to Taurus uh, during, uh, during this period, uh, triangling Saturn and will have a sextile connection to Mars during all this time. And also we will have the full moon in Sagittarius, 9th of June. And Mercury moves from Taurus to Gemini. So it's a little bit swapping there. And Jupiter in Libra. A uh, little bit pressure for you, it seems. There's Cancer again. Uh, Jupiter in Libra is triangling the sun. And uh, that can be rather energetic. Jupiter have been moving retrograde and will continue doing so until June 10 when it stations. And here we have the lovers again. So Libra is, of course, a uh, um, sign of relationship, balance. Uh, so it's an important time to mirror yourself in your relationship. It seems to be important time in, in love also for King of Swords, Aquarius, that is. So for you, Aquarius, uh, the only thing significant that will happen, what I could see was that moon moves through. Uh, June 13 to 14. Okay, so I'll just tune in for a few seconds. Okay, so my dear Aquarius, uh, this is your uh, future and this is your now. And this is the past. So uh, the now is probably the first half of June 2017. But whenever you watch this, it's probably the exact right time to see it. You can also watch it several times during the period. And as time moves on, you will maybe understand more of what I'm talking about with these cards. <clears throat> so uh, the first card here is Knight of Coins. So Knight of Coins is uh, usually Taurus. It can also be Virgo or Capricorn. Knight of Coins is a very, is very stable energy. It's something that where you need to have kind of patience uh, because uh, it's, um, it's very cautious, not very adventurous, but very loyal and stable and slow going. It's kind of like a turtle here. It's depicted like with two horses. Horses are much more quicker, but it's brown horses. So it's very st steady, stable. Also horses when it comes to the coloring. And it's very green and luscious here because Knight of Coins is, is a farmer. Uh, this is a person with a lot of patience that's being able to put the seed to the ground and wait until it's um, ripe uh, before they make their harvest. And during this time, they are also putting in a lot of effort and work to see to that this um, uh, growth is going in the way that it's supposed to. Uh, so and, and farmers also learn a lot of stuff all the time of how to better maintain that growth. And what I'm talking about here is, of course, uh, spiritual growth and patience within love in love relationship some of you have uh, dealing with the uh, earth sign and and some of you are learning this quality yourself because air, uh, earth is the opposite to air and i know you have been working very hard uh, the past 
year to really ground yourself and not be so much in up in thoughts but actually starting to become more in your body and in nature so this is like a card telling that you need patience for this uh, and also if you have uh, if you feel that this is um, connected to a certain person in your life you can kind of rely on that they are trustworthy but they might be like a little slow you might not really get them where you want them to be uh, in a very short amount of time because uh, they need a lot of considering, like thinking things through, but more maybe feeling things through <laughs> and, and, and they are not going to move along until they feel that uh, it's safe to do so. Uh, so we also have something happening uh, in, in Taurus, um, Mars, no see here. Uh, we have had Mercury being in, in Taurus and it's going to move into Gemini and we also have uh, Venus going into uh, Taurus. So it might be important for you with this energy. Uh, so the next card is Four of Wands. So Four of Wands is kind of a stable love relationship. Uh, traditionally it's a marriage, uh, taking the next step together, moving in, uh, finding a house, uh, <laughs> things like this. But for once, it's also building stability in your life, building something from the foundation. Then you need to take time. You need to let it grow slowly. You need to um, pay attention to details. And um, this is you, your soul, envisioning this future. So when you do so, you need to envision it like with great accuracy to details and um, also make a lot of reality checks like if the people maybe that you're working together with with this project whatever it is you want to accomplish here actually are on the same page as you sometimes we can have a lot of illusions and build imaginations uh, about people and this is a little bit the slow going energy so if um, you as a air sign might be more fluid and hasty and and want things to be done quickly and um, uh, and this is not a quick moving energy. So, but it's stable. It's building on a foundation from rock bottom, from this rocky volcanic. Uh, um, it's um, almost like glowing here. We see the trees on the outside here is is kind of dead, but inside here it's luscious. So your thoughts become the house you live in. Your action becomes the house you live in. So it seems like you need to show yourself trustworthy and loyal and um, maybe express yourself a little bit more if um, uh, if you love someone if you want to be with them show this to them because they can't really read your mind and if you are uh, yourself is very slow going uh, they might say okay this person isn't interesting I will move along uh, so as for once is um, um, is a very powerful symbol because it's also connected to the tower and um, the tower um, again and again collapses so we can build things like even more solid uh, from rock bottom, uh, build our lives with self-love as well. So it's about taking care of yourself here as well, your body and, and nourish yourself with good foods and um, like shower yourself with the love that you don't feel like you get from others. It might be a very important time where you can give this to yourself and also include others, of course, for once you can give this love, even if people are not giving it to you, you can show them loyalty and stability and that you are there for them like a true friend as well. Uh, so uh, next card here is uh, three of uh, cups. So Three of Cups is uh, is Cancer, and we have um, Mars uh, moving into uh, to Cancer. So um, it's Trinity. So it's how you work together with the Divine uh, to uh, work on love in your life, love and relationships. It's also about creative talents. Uh, so it might be something that you are working on, like. Um, trying to find out your talents, uh, trying to build from a foundation like a new life for yourself. So it might be within work and creativity as well that you want to do something else, maybe something that's more slow, not so stressful, maybe something that's more close to your own inner nature, something that you have like a talent that's unique for you. Sometimes we can be like this, we can do uh, a certain thing every day and we have done so for 
a long time. And we don't see this as a talent. We don't recognize this as something we could uh, actually do on a daily basis. Uh, I wish for the most people uh, at er uh, this earth and this time to be able to reconsider their line of duty, so to speak, the, what they are doing to make a living, because you are supposed you are spending a lot of time with working. It should be something that you love to do. So check this out, that you really love what you are doing, that it's making you happy, that this um, monetizing situation is actually giving you joy and happiness. Um so um, it might be that you're working within a relationship also to uh, to connect. It's about connection here, uh, maybe a little bit slow, but good foundation. Uh, it's mother, father, child, of course, ace of cups here in the center, finding your talents also, uh, working on your talents, making them blossom. And uh, it's, it's also in relationship like uh, the two, the couple and the relationship itself, the connection, because the three of cups is about beautiful, beautiful connection uh, within love. Sometimes this is abused uh, because people want to feel this connection all the time. And they if they have a slow going partner, for example, they might seek this elsewhere, like seek love outside uh, the um, the partnership because um, they want to feel this connection all the time instead of working on the connection with their actual partner. Uh, so don't don't do this. This is distorting this beautiful connection. Uh, and if you want to have like multiple partners, you need to have a partner that's willing to do the same. So you are on the same page. In other case, it's more like um, abuse. Uh, the next card here is a beautiful, beautiful nine of cups. And this is uh, Jupiter in Pisces. We actually have Jupiter in, in Libra. Uh, so um, uh, Libra is a, a little bit more uh, calm and cool sign than Pisces. Pisces is, is really going deep. But Libra is as you as an air sign and wants to think logically uh, and keep harmony in this way. So uh, with this... Um, uh, nine of cups here jupiter in pisces it's about your wishes uh, so it seems like a lot of uh, this in in your past for some of you watching in in may this might be happening now but for many of you in the past everything is kind of circulating around uh, a love relationship or a creat creative endeavor or how uh, you can get your needs met or maybe um, rejoicing in in beautiful beautiful love here uh, with three of cups and nine of cups it's, it's um really an excessive overflow of love uh, going on. Um, maybe uh, some of you have gotten married uh, to a stable partner, but a knight of coins is a little bit, it's a little bit young, young energy, but it might be, um, it's a very trustworthy energy. They might not know everything, but being willing to, to connect in this uh, beautiful love anyway. And it, it, uh, for some of you, it might be that you have uh, found found out what you want to do with um, um, with your talents, what you want to. This is like the wish card. So if you are not feeling like you already have all this, like uh, beautiful stability, uh, use of your creative talents or beautiful connection within love or and really feeling that you're doing this, what's making you happy and what's making you very content. Uh, this is a very beautiful moment to envision this for those of you that that haven't uh, got this already and start to envision, start to see, start to dream more about what you actually want than to think so much about what you don't have and what you have been missing out on and the sad stories. Try to try to like get your hopes up and start visioning and dreaming, not putting yourself in this in some um, state like state of anticipation. Knight of coins, grounded, slow. So uh, no get it now ideas. Like if you are going to start to envision your future here, it won't come like the next day. You're building something for the long haul, for the future here. So uh, be patient and see whatever. If you, uh, you are starting to envision here your future uh, and just go on with this as a, as a beautiful play of creation. Don't um, attach yourself to the outcome of of this what you're dreaming about it m will make you crazy I want you to be 
very grounded. You have no past, no future, no expectations. Just, just dream. Use a little time each day to dream about what you actually do want. Go, being goal oriented isn't the same thing as living in the future and just having this anticipation. This anticipation will just make you miserable. So dream without attaching to your dream. Whatever will come to you, you don't have control. It's the divine, up to the divine to what's going to be sent back to you. And it's also up to people's free will. You can dream about being together with like a, a beautiful celebrity, but <laughs> they probably have a lot of people dreaming of the same. So they won't come to you, but maybe they will come like a person that have the same personal qualities of this person. So look very thoroughly to your dream. Uh, so it's really what you wish for, because it seems like you will get it. So um, so make attention to details here. Uh, and the next card is uh, Six of Coins. So Six of Coins is also a beautiful card about uh, looking uh, the balance in your relationship. And you have Jupiter here, and this is uh, uh, connected to Libra, this with the scale and justice. Uh, so see too that um, you are giving enough and that you're also being able to receive enough in your relationship. Don't overfunction. We have this green hand. It's like being... Uh, the bigger person, maybe being a parent, being a caretaker. So sometimes we are like this. If we have elderly parents, for example, or we have children, we need to be the bigger person, the one that gives. But in your equal mutual relationships, like at, uh, at work and in friendship and partnership, see to that there's balance because imbalances are creating uh, unhappiness and and sometimes misery sometimes of course you need to be able to be there for a friend uh, that has big trouble or 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 being in in deep misery as I said but um, during a, a time if they are not then there for you when you have problems uh, this is where you need need to uh, wash out a little bit but the, Six of Coins is a very good card. It's about something being given to you. Uh, it's a feeling like someone is someone is taking a lot of responsibility here and playing rather cool, like being very grounded and sophisticated in a way. And uh, so um, you might feel like uh, rejoicing in love and, and uh, showing beautiful connection, but it might be like your counterpart is a little bit more careful uh, this is more friendship based. It's more um, so for some of you, it will be that someone is in love with you uh, and really showing this and you are a little bit like slow with this. Uh, and sometimes we can get very scared in those situation that we are going to be like drowned in all this water here from the other person and we don't want to hurt their feelings. And it can be the same for you that you have like a person in your life that's maybe feeling more like a friendship feelings towards you. They haven't really grown up to this. Uh, so it might be like good to show them love and stuff, but not drown them with this and scare them off. If this is someone that you want to start a relationship with, if this is already your wife and your husband, um, uh, they might not be uh, like as passionate as you wish them to be. Um, but this might be like over functioning. If you step a little bit back then with, with this love and this want of connection, just step a little bit back without being, uh, having an affair on the side. Um, you can, uh, I'm not judging anyone, but I just want, don't want people to get hurt. I want people to be honest with one another. So if you step back a little bit and, and, and just let the other one, like see what they are missing if they they miss maybe this connection or this love showering that has been going on and um, and they might take some old own brave steps uh, to create this it's like letting another person be able to function and this is as I said it's a little bit young energy so um, it's like you you need something room to grow uh, so uh, see too that you're not over functioning and making the other one being unable to function uh, so six of coins is good also for money. You might be given money here. It's like a wish card. It's like a shower of things coming over you. Um, and for most of you, this will be in, in the past. So uh, the next line of cards is in the now. And we have a beautiful nine of coins here. Uh, so the nine of coins is telling me about more about the knight of coins and this for once 
thingy going on. That this is a, a beautiful state of mind that you can put yourself into as well uh, with mindfulness, like um, being uh, like you can use the past and the future as tools, uh, but they are not supposed to be there with you all the time. They are just tools. Uh, this visioning of the future is also a tool. Where you should be is here and now. We have here um, uh, Venus, uh, actually in Virgo. Now we have Venus in Taurus. So it's about taking care of yourself, of your body, making your body a temple. Uh, try to take as much time as you can for yourself. This is nine, connected to the hermit. Uh, and be with yourself in your inside temple. Uh, see yourself uh, on the inside like a beautiful summer's day and rejoice in, in these feelings. Be there and also feel like maybe the uncomfortable feeling that will be there. They are equally welcome because that's the experience of being you right now. Uh, so for, for those of you uh, uh, spending a lot of time in this state of mindfulness, you will really gain some beautiful riches here that will make your life very stable. You will be able to withstand any storm because your foundation is, is becoming like rock solid. Uh, so you Aquarius have been doing a very great job with this, taking in the earth and, and, and becoming grounded and building this stability for yourself. So... Uh, with nine of coins, you can sometimes um, like mm, give people the pr impression that you don't need them. Uh, so uh, be uh, mindful of this as well. If you have people in your life that you don't want to lose, to be able to still keep giving them some attention. And even if you go into this a little bit, um, it's like uh, when you go, it's like you go inwardly towards yourself. And you find inner peace there. And it might be so lovely that you forget about people in the surroundings. So still call your friends. Uh, still reach out to your lovers. Still attend to your children. But try to take um, moments alone. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, it's springtime now. So it's a beautiful time to be out in nature as well. And for those others, uh, I hope you can find like beautiful a space in your house that you can really make to like this kind of temple really f fix it up so it will be very clean and spacious and 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 a place for you where you can really uh, rest your mind and and be there also maybe clean out the space with incense and things so you can um, get in very high frequencies when you are uh, doing mindfulness uh, exercises or meditation uh, in this space, giving yourself this retreat. Uh, so nine of coins is like you have accomplished something through your own work. It's you that's giving the stability to yourself. No one else has responsibility for you if you are not like being unable to take responsibility for yourself. In other case, it's like don't it's no one else that's responsible for how you feel. You need to give yourself this groundedness. OK. Uh, and uh, together with the four of uh, wands, we have five of wands. This also always come with this, uh, <laughs> with relationships and stuff. You need to be able to take in other people's point of view. Uh, with five of wands, there might be um, a quarrel within a relationship. Uh, it's usually nothing big, but it, it might be a situation where someone is very acting a bit too much, too stubborn. Uh, they might act like a little bit... Um, want things in their own way so uh, see to that this isn't you and that you can be able to be like uh, more uh, mature and actually listen to what the other person have to say and also take space for yourself to tell how you feel uh, with the nine of coins here together with the five of wands uh, it, it, it's again emphasizing this with you might be coming out as a person that don't need other people so it might people might feel like you're not on their team uh, so check again so you're a team player uh, and and being like uh, giving a sense of calm and loyalty and and um, uh, long lasting to the relationship that you want to be long lasting because uh, with the five of wands um, there can be like people feeling like you and them doesn't have the same goal so this can escalate of course into um, 
breakups and other stuff. But the divine thinks five of wands is a lovely card uh, because they want you to be here to be challenged and to uh, experience new things. So they want you to be able to be challenged by people in your life mirroring you and uh, having a totally different opinion than you. So you will learn to see another point of view without really like uh, thinking that uh, your idea or your yourself is that bad. It's still grounded in self-love. You're supposed to still love yourself. Um, to do mistakes or to acknowledge mistakes or say, okay, uh, okay, you were right, uh, I was wrong. It's easy for the soul to do this. For the ego, it will like grind its teeth and almost start crying if they need to say I'm sorry or I made a mistake. But for the soul here, it's just like it's easy like breathing to say. It's easy like taking a breath out and this to say I'm sorry. It's actually uh, the soul will feel a rush of love when saying this. Uh, even if they say this to their uh, biggest enemy. Uh, so, uh, but sometimes the soul also need to be very clear and direct. Uh, you will feel this. It will come like impulses. Uh, I do will be like, uh, but if you become very angry in this situation, try to be diplomatic about it because uh, you won't uh, win anything with being aggressive. You can tell people how you feel, but you don't have to go on a rampage that's, that's very unconscious. Uh, so to actually feel, oh, I'm getting really angry in this situation and telling, well, I feel very angry because I'm, I'm reacting to this. That's consciousness. To just scream and shout and go on a rampage, it's very unconscious. It's coming from your pain and hurt and, and, and from your, uh, like... The entity within you that might have been forced to relive some tragic moment, um, projecting this to the now moment and therefore reliving like past again and again uh, within this uh, quarrels or petty arguments here. Uh, the next card really central is uh, Ten of Cups. So it seems like the most of you uh, Aquarius will have like a stable love in your life and a stable uh, like family situation uh, it's three of cups so it might be here together with family as well maybe with your children it doesn't have to be a life partner it can be with your children or family members because three is is also connecting love between generations uh, but here is of course the divine masculine and divine feminine in its uh, domesticated form um, it's um uh, and the dog is uh, big, so it needs to be nice to the cat. Uh, the cat can't really kill the dog, but it's usually ruling the dog anyway, just with its uh, uh, its feeling of being like the central of the world. Uh, the Ten of Cups is a beautiful uh, card that shows that even if you are so unlike, even if you don't see things eye to eye, you can still find this beautiful connection within love. If you love yourself, if you love your your other person, uh, it uh, conflicts is actually very uh, it's like an injection with new fresh air to a situation when you can be able to talk about really hard things and still be in love or still love each other that's when you get like this beautiful air into a relationship that you can see here that's no walls no no roof and still this connectedness with love because people are free willingly in this uh, situation or this relationship and we can see this here as well. Both are there free willingly. And um, so in the now, it might be that you need to overcome uh, some conflict or uh, situation where you don't have the same goal as maybe a more slow going <laughs> energy here. Um, and um, and still land in, in beautiful love. So that requires you or some of you to be very conscious in a situation where there's a quarrel. Uh, to become uh, detached from uh, your old wounds or your old projections or old dramas and just be very undramatic, non-reactive, just looking at the situation, feeling your own feelings and, and uh, being able to communicate them in, in sophisticated and diplomatic ways. Uh, so um, this is very beautiful. It's very central as well. So it came a lot of love when we... Um, when I shuffle the cards 
but there's always challenges, of course, uh, when it comes to love. Uh, so here we have a five of coins. So it's something with your needs here that you don't feel that they are really met. You see how your soul comes in here and here's you um, in your body here. And here we have five of coins and six of coins together with this nine of nine of cups. Nine of cups is filling your needs. This one hasn't got their needs met. And this one is kind of deciding if they're going to meet your needs or not. Uh, are you worth it? Have you done what you were supposed to do to get this love? So for some of you, you might be in a relationship where people are manipulating you uh, to behave in certain ways. So you would uh, you will have this love. So be careful of that because you're supposed to be uniquely you like your soul you're not supposed to sell yourself uh, to be able to obtain those things that you need and um, it's not the same as uh, making compromises and saying okay so I will show you more love I will show you more attention that's a beautiful thing and it's not it's so cheap to, to do this it's not costing you any money to just call a friend a like a little bit more often but in those situations when they are kind of you feel that there's an underlying uh, aggressiveness if you don't call that um, it's people acting like martyrs here like they are always the one giving and giving and they are not getting anything back uh, so be careful of those situations also when you are that person um, if you are getting agitated with a person not giving enough uh, you need to, it's your responsibility to either stay in that relationship or leave it. You can't make the other person give you what you want. It's not going to happen. Uh, so uh, you can be very clear about it. And sometimes it can feel very sad if you need to, uh, if you know that someone loves you but are being unable to, to show it because they are a little bit like, in, in their shell or a little bit slow, um, you can feel that this is, um, it's like they're losing an opportunity with you because you love them so much and no one else will love them this much. Uh, but it's not your responsibility. Uh, so if you have this capacity to love this much and give a lot of love, you are lucky because um, <laughs> you have the ability to be in a love relationship and actually made it make it like being able to compromise uh, being able to be the bigger person being able to be conscious that's giving you the upper hand when it comes to winning in love uh, the other person if they have a hard time with showing you the love that you need and you make you feel like this they will probably make other people feel like this as well so no one will remember them when they have uh, left this relationship they will think oh that was the cold one that wasn't able to open up but the other person might remember you oh that was the person that was giving me all that I wanted and needed and I missed that opportunity so always relationship is there to make us grow and we can't we can't control other people so don't take what they are doing or not doing personally um, you can't force a person to love you in the way that you want to be loved. Uh, you can only choose like if this is something that you want or if you don't want it. If you still think that this person is worth all your attention and love, maybe it's your child. So you need to give it attention or love, even if it's uh, not giving it back to you. That's <laughs> then you just need to endure. It's your children is not they not they don't belong to you. They belong to the future. So um, we should, of course, uh, require respect from our children. And we have, of course, the power to um, to make them uh, listen to us as long as we provide for them with uh, roof and, and, and with shelter and, and food and mobile phones and other stuff. Uh, so we can require respect from them as long as we do this for them. But they... They are supposed to grow up and become independent, so they might not show you unconditional love um, all the time. They need to detach from you. They need to be respectless against you sometimes because they need to uh, become their own individual. So it's it's kind of healthy for a child to sometimes become very angry with their parents. Uh, but here, when it's come to friendship and and like a relationship that's equally. Uh, it's like um, relationship between friends and lovers. You need to 
know that you are responsibility responsible for the way that you feel in a relationship. If the other person isn't able, able to give you the love that you need, you are responsible for changing this. They are not. Uh, you can let them use you because with the six of coins, sometimes it's like this, especially together with the five of coins. You can let them use you as long as you want, as long as you want, uh, as long as you have still hope for the other person to maybe come around and, and to grow up a little bit and become a little more like awake. I feel like there's one person that's like not really here <laughs> in this relationship. They are somewhere else like uh, not really mindful. Uh, and, and one person in this, probably you watching because the other person won't even know that you have a problem. Uh, so probably you watching, either you are an Aquarius or not, and probably the other person is a little bit aloof and not really like with you in this relationship and you feel very uh, exposed because you love them a great deal and they probably love you a great deal as well. But sometimes you need to... Uh, to take a step back if if you're not getting the love that you need you need to say okay so um i will give you a chance now to show uh, how much uh, <laughs> you care by i'm taking a step back and you know, i will see how much responsibility you take for this relationship and the love connection that we have here very central um and if they are not taking that uh if they are not stepping up then you know so you don't have to force them into anything that's not for them anymore. And the next card is seven of coins. So this is about waiting for someone uh, to step up. Uh, so I think that this is what a lot of, of you will be doing, uh, like taking a step back. You have been giving, 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 and now you feel like, well, now I'll we'll wait if there will be any harvest or not. I will take a step back and it's a few months here before this harvest will come to full bloom. Uh, so I will take a step back and it's nothing more I can do. It's like bright summer and rain and soil and the sun needs to do its work here with this crop. So you have done everything. You have been like taking the weed out of the ground. You have been watering it. You have been um, uh, nourishing it m maybe with compost or <laughs> other nourishment, love maybe. <laughs> and now you need to take a step back and and see what will come back to you. Um, if this, uh, if you have spoiled the person maybe too much, uh, they will not wake up until it's too late, uh, unfortunately, because sometimes we spoil people and it takes like long time for them to realize, oh God, um, 10 years later, they, but they realize that, well, I should have done something differently. I had this person in my life and I just let them like slip out of my hands. What happened? And what happened was they were unconscious and you let them be unconscious because you pampered them like they were spoiled children. Uh, so don't do this. Don't pamper your your loved ones. They also need to show that they want to be in the, in in their relationship, either it's friends or relatives or your life partner or whatever. They need to also step up their game. Sometimes we can be like a little bit closed in on in ourselves because we need to heal, especially in those times, these times that we are in now. But don't let this go on forever, uh, and and be sure to to do like reality checks now and then and see that you are not like doing too much uh, in in your relationship. So you don't leave the other person any room to grow up and take responsibility. Uh, so here we have a little page of cups. So it seems like the slow going uh, energy is actually going to have an awakened heart, but it's going to maybe be through a time of aloneness. So they will, it's very young again, even younger. It's like they are going back to a childhood state or you are going back to a childhood state, connecting with your inner child and opening up your, your heart space here. And uh, this is going to, of course, make you being able to give love if you are the frozen one here. Uh, but it's going to take time because this is just, it's just a baby. It's like an infant uh, and it, it has been maybe awaken because the love showering here. Uh, so it's a very uh, fragile stability here. It's need to be very maintained. So I, I said that you shouldn't spoil this person and, and, and I, I think I'm right, but maybe this is from now on because 
and uh, maybe your you spoiling this person has actually made them being able to open their heart space okay uh, so the next card is the hangman. So I think there will be a pause in this lovely relationship where maybe both of you will be hanging upside down like this because you can't really uh, agree on how this relationship will continue into the future. And there will be a, you need to sacrifice things. So if you uh, are dealing with this person being a little bit uh, immature, uh, you might need them to leave them alone for a while and and they will know how it is to live without you okay so i don't mean like burn any bridges here or being like upset and angry and you know say those words you can't ever take back but more be like well i, I feel like i am doing all the giving in this relationship and i need to take a little break like can we can we talk again in a few weeks and see what's what's what? Uh, so because it's probably both you and the other person needs to take a good look in the mirror. It's like time will stand still here until you have taken this good look in the mirror. This is a time where it's it's um, divine trap. Uh, they have um, <laughs> they have lured you into this honey trap with promises of lo everlasting love or great friendship or. Uh, great experience or career opportunities but when you are finally here it proven to be a lot of challenge and a lot of competition and a lot of like people not having the same goals and and and, and the divine is kind of uh, clapping their hands and thinking oh lovely here is beautiful opportunity for, for growth and you will feel like this is hell on earth this is like the worst thing I didn't want to lose this person I didn't want to lose this job I didn't want to lose this situation but you have to it's like you have to do this because it's um, it's going to make you grow it's going to make you have like a little bit beautiful halo on your head because you have becoming more conscious and more aware we need to live through those moments and challenges because they are uh, waking us up and it's just through direct experience that we will actually know what's matter to us it's not before like that person that we took for granted is gone that we actually know how much they meant to us so for some of you you need to withdraw yourself from the situation to make the other person aware of what you meant to them or not they might also find out that they didn't. And that's a beautiful reality check because you're not supposed to stay in a relationship that's lapsided either. Uh, so Neptune or Uranus on the back side. Uh, it looks like Uranus, but in according to the book, it's Neptune. Uh, so we can say it's both. Uh, because Neptune is this way where you are beautifully, beautifully connecting to your soul in this very high spiritual way through your emotions as well. And this is a very emotional state hanging up like down like this and losing all your money, like losing your ego or losing something that was precious to you or maybe that was um, um, necessary for you to survive. You might feel like you want to die here. It's, it's um, the death of ego, of course. So let it feel like this. Um, to feel like they are, you have lost everything or feeling very humiliated or feeling ashamed or like you have made a mistake or that you missed an opportunity. This is lovely uh, because ego can't stand this. So ego will die in this situation. So yes, some of you might feel like very close to death, like nothing matters anymore. You have lost the one thing that was important. Uh, but this is actually just the first step towards your um, your next awakened state where you will be even more conscious. You will have even more experience and you will and uh, know so much more. You have by direct experience, you have gotten to know something really important here. So with a hangman, it might be like flipping of a life situation. It's like something has flipped over, um, not someone might have done revolution here and and flip the dice and it's the time glass it's standing still so nothing will happen until you learn this whatever it is that divine wants you to to learn and i think it's much with being mindfulness here and now and let go of control for for those of you that have been working excessively on getting connection in relationship let go of control you you can't control the other person they have free will and they have their own life path so don't con don't think that you can control them and, and don't take their actions personally. They are acting from their level of consciousness. And, and they might regret it later. 
and it doesn't really matter. But uh, to put yourself in a state where you are like just relaxing and letting go is actually going to liberate you. And here we also have the death card. So death of this beautiful uh, love connection is 12, 13. And it's a little child here. Um, uh, it's this open heart. Uh, so it's like... It's like you have uh, make a, made a person like you have given this them all this love or they have been giving you all this love, making you more sensitive. So you will actually feel this when it strikes you, that you will feel this hurt here. You will feel this loss. Uh, so this is death. Uh, so this is wish of death and this is death. I'm not saying that you're going to die, but I think this is going to be a hard blow uh, towards your ego and also this slow going energy that doesn't want to cooperate is going to have a real smash here from the divine and um, uh, this is facing your fear if you face your fear now you won't regret it later if you do something that you have been really scared of maybe letting go of a relationship that's lopsided for example where you don't get your needs met, where you feel like the other one doesn't have the same goals as do you and and you just feel like they have been taking, 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 taking and leaving you bare. So this can be for your cross watcher or for Aquarius. So, you know, this is always the case uh, because it's usually the ones that um, that are the, the empaths in this situation that will watch my videos. The other persons are not going to bother. So um <clears throat> so let go of whatever it is that you have been fearing so much and this will uh, actually like be your moment of enlightenment and also you will burn so much karma with you have been trying to make uh, people love you and you have been compromising yourself in this way uh, making your soul uh, being unable to shine but here when you kind of it doesn't matter anymore all that matters is your soul and your soul's journey and this with burning this karma. If you just take this step and your ego will die, you won't feel like this anymore. You will be unable to feel like this because you don't have an ego anymore. So you won't ever feel like a beggar again. You will, even if you are in a beggar state, you will still feel like a king or a queen because your soul has entered into your body when the ego has left the building here. Uh, so it's going, it's painful but it's 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 a liberation act you will liberate yourself from from patterns that has been repeating in your life again and again with uh, this unbalance within love it's going to this is going to balance it out and you are going to do this that you have been so afraid of doing you have been afraid of risking those beautiful relationships in your life and now you have to and it doesn't mean that it's the end if um, a certain person or a thing or a situation work whatever is yours it's going to still be yours when this is done and if it's not there's going to be something else coming okay and here we have this beautiful three of wands and it comes from your ten of cups and this four of wands so you have been giving yourself a new rock solid stability and you know what you want you know what you want to obtain like both career wise and and um, love wise and with family and everything you want love like you want appreciation you want to have appreciation for your talents from for the time that you give for for the love that you give for whatever you invest here and and three of wands is like yes and now you are going to get it you are going to like say yes to what you do want and no to what you don't want this is a new beginning for you it's totally new and this is ship coming loaded with this what you wished for uh, so this is a shift like you will shift from this what you didn't want to what you do want and it's going to obtain a true sacrifice you can't have any renewal in your life if you are not sacrificing something first so sacrifice with dignity and um, and dream about this new thing that you want and here's the faith card so you also need to have faith in the divine and that they will actually provide this and and you can do only so much it's taurus energy again we have five 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 and taurus here so it's a lot of with this with taurus what was going on in taurus again i'm so forgetful venus moves into taurus triangling saturn going retrograde in sagittarius and sextiling mars in cancer yes okay so um it's um it's this balance of course uh, saturn moving retrograde it's about what do you want 
what do you really want with your life now it's time to get go after that thing and not um like wasting time and energy in situation where you're not getting this back what you actually want here so it's about having faith now it's a leap of faith that you will take here in the future so exciting and and very scary but it's going to be worth it so we'll take some cards for you from the wisdom of the hidden realms to see what's going on with my beautiful aquarius <sighs> okay so you need to put your uh, your project on ice uh, ideas preserved non-action entitlement it's like this seven of coins it's um, I had a beautiful bird coming. I think its name is Wood Troth or something like that. Uh, song, sing Troth. Uh, it's anyway, it's a little brown bird with spotty chest. And exactly this, it was telling me it came. It's it's uh, have been singing for me very beautiful. And it came uh, sitting down next to me yesterday. And it was talking about just that this, that you can't, you can do uh, so much. Uh, and and one day your your work is kind of done and you need to uh, let uh, the persons or the situation that you have been working so hard on uh, kind of grow on its own accord leave the um, uh, the reins over to uh, the other the other person or the other group or the others uh, because now you have been a leader here and you have done things and you have showed the way. So now it's up to uh, the other to actually go the path that you have been making for them. And you are not supposed to do uh, anything. Just wait here. Uh, just uh, have faith, this leap of faith, doing like li letting this situation die and wait for whatever will come instead. And just be in your body and nourish it. And uh, a lot of time spent out in nature, maybe not in this cold, but spend out in nature and just like be don't think about the future uh, the future or the past don't have any expectations just be in the here and now here and now this is how you will go through this and also get yourself enlightened and aware and conscious and it's keeper of scales so it's this is utterly important here um it, it's like we have been the whole humanity has been lopsided and one has been slave to the other and we are not supposed to be this anymore we are supposed to grow up and everyone is supposed to be like they their own authority so it's time to uh to do this now and the ones that have been maybe living upon the others they will um they will be a little bit young and 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 spoiled and not having been faced with so much danger so they will be not so courageous as you uh, so keep that in mind that it's not their fault <laughs> or, uh, as well because and we it's different how we go down some lives we will go down as perpetrators and sometimes as victims if we will generalize and poor a lot of poor lies uh, whatever uh, but mm, <laughs> It doesn't matter. We are still like divine creatures. We have just shoes in a kind of setting and go down and work on this. So if you are the one that has been given, you're supposed to stop with this and create balance. So very, very direct like this. And uh, with the no, past life oracle cards for you as well to see what kind of karma that it is that you might be like uh, getting uh cancelled now okay um we have galactic and ships so uh it seems like you had a mission here with this uh relationships how you move over water together with other people relationships and um uh, persecution and inquisition it's like you have done this you have sacrificed yourself almost like a little bit like jesus on the cross to to make to come across with this message um how how love is supposed to be shared in relationships so this is about healing of course uh because we are being attracted by people that aren't able to give us love because we want to heal this this gap between uh between us this uh lopsided thing and and now i think it's time for the the one that have capacity to love to come together and the one that hasn't got this capacity to love they are supposed to 
to be without and maybe like they need to be with one another and and learn from from this so if you have an abusive relationship take responsibility and leave this situation now it's for a higher cause so you're supposed to do this okay so thank you for watching and take really good care and i hope to see you again in the middle of june okay bye bye